This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. turn on my uh, lights here. I almost didn't turn the lights on at the last moment. I'm I'm getting too old for this. I'm I'm getting too old for it. Uh, It's just, uh, you know, one thing after another. Yeah, let's see. I got the air conditioning in here, and I got, uh, uh, let's see here. Where's my, uh, oh, here it is. This is uh, the the fan up above. And I turn this down. And there we go. Uh, I guess it's uh, that time of the week where we uh, we have our, uh, our our time to go over and uh, see our old friend. Um, and let me just bring him in here. Uh, Phil Meyer uh, will be uh, blasting his uh, himself all over these these airwaves. Let me also put your name up here too. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Or do, do you mind if I don't put your name up there? I, what what's your audio is terrible oh it is oh now it's okay oh okay maybe i had to get a little closer to the mic i don't know what it was it was like it sounded like you were off somewhere in space or something i am in space can't so, you tell so have you got the new uh, board fixed up and everything working uh i i called them to make an appointment they didn't call me back uh maybe i i had to do it some other way sign up for their service i i, I don't know but i'll, I'll get it done eventually Oh, because I, is that the mic you always use, or did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I just moved it to the other side of the uh, desk. I see. Okay. How you doing? That's a Phil Meyer, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. You can see his name uh, right down there. there we down. Go. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, let's see. I, I decided that um, I was going to join the Taliban. They have all the good weapons and tanks and planes. I want to play with them, too. You said they have weapons and what? Tanks and planes. You're welcome. And, yeah, thank you very much. That's, my father used to do that to me all the time. Yeah. You know, tanks, what, 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 what was that first word you said? Tanks? Well, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it the nice things we remember about our parents? Yes, it certainly is. Is it not? Yeah. Anyway, you know what I got tonight? I have my green. Uh, oh, really? Hand stuff. The hand yeah. stuff, right? The the. For, oh, yeah, fill in the for, container for exercising your hands. Okay. Oh, that's kind of fun. And then I've got my soda, but I got the green one tonight, so it's my invisible soda. Hey, that's that's a good idea. I I only have water, and, and that's invisible. Well, except it, the- it goes through. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, so so yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah. let's see what what's been going on lately. I don't uh, know. How, hmm? Weather been out your way? It's been you know it's it's been hot. Uh, it, today it was a little better, but it, it, the humidity is just it's getting unbearable. You know. Now, did you get hit hit by uh, the hurricane? Uh, not yet. Uh, are you going to be? Probably. Probably, probably this evening or tomorrow. Yeah. Now, wasn't there one that came through last week? There was something last week. I can't remember what it was exactly. Yeah, it, yeah. Gracie or, or or something, and there's another one, Ida. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that's 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 going through. You know, I don't care. I you, don't either. <laughs> you know what it is? I tune in these news networks. Yeah. And you don't get news anymore. You get opinion. Well, no, worse than that, you get, okay, non-news. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this. Mm-hmm. Afghanistan is non-news. How can that be non-news when they're leaving a uh, hundred or so it's, Americans? It's non-news. Okay, let me explain to you why it's non-news. How many 
guys did we lose in uh, in uh, in Afghanistan last week? How many people? Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. How many people died that same day of COVID? More than thirteen, but that has nothing. No, to it do has with a lot to do with it. It has a lot to do with with perspective. Okay, the fact is that number one. COVID's a much more important story than Afghanistan because if COVID's going to kill you, Afghanistan isn't. It, it's preventable. You can't prevent a suicide bomber. You know, I was going to get my third COVID shot today. I signed up. You can get uh, your third one already. Well, you know, I had cancer, and that was uh, well, one I of had the cancer too. Are you going to pull the cancer thing? I got the cancer card. Yeah, we're going to pull your cancer card. I was thinking of yeah. doing the same thing, to be honest. I, I, I pulled the cancer card, and I I signed up, and I was supposed to go at noon today mm -hmm. to get the vaccination. And this morning, I decided to cancel it. Uh, you know, even though, yeah, kind of I was borderline qualified to uh, to get the shot, Mm -hmm. and I was scheduled for it, I thought about it and I said, you know, based on the studies that Alan is telling me about. Oh, uh, well, don't believe anything yeah. Alan tells you. I, I, rarely, rarely. But, uh, you know, he, is, he, is, he does stay up on this stuff and he does read a lot when it comes to uh, these. Was, you know what pisses me off? Uh, I, I listen to Jack Bishop and he, he's given him the nickname Doc. Like yeah. he's some kind of doctor, and he's not. And that's why I don't like him giving out medical advice on our show, because he's not a doctor. He's the doctor of soul. He's got so much soul uh, no, he can't uh, control. Uh, right, right. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, getting back to where we were. Okay. Uh, well, the, the third COVID shot. So I, I thought about it, and I said, you know, you don't get as much uh, immunity if you take it early. Mm -hmm. according to the studies and uh the the other issue is is that after september 16th they're talking that the third booster shot is going to have some additional stuff against the variants yeah yeah so i said well, you know why not wait a month you, uh, you, you can wait a month it's not like it's gonna you're gonna it's gonna run out on you yeah, I, I got it february 11th was my last shot mm -hmm. so what's that october uh, February, March, April, May, June, July, October is six months. Mm -hmm. So November, December, you know, if I go to eight months. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. So, I mean, I got mine the end of, of, of my second one, uh, yeah. the end of uh, February. So that takes me to the end of October, I believe, if you want to go, if you want to say seven months. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, if I went the end of October, I think I'd be uh, getting the, the best that I could get, as well as if they do uh, jazz up the, uh, the third shot to mm -hmm. uh, address the variants, right. then, you know, right. maybe a, a smart move. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good, you know. But anyway, uh -huh. getting back to what I'm saying about perspective. Yeah. Uh, I also think that you see. I mean, yes, Afghanistan is an is a is an important story for people to know what's going on. It doesn't deserve to be the only story twenty four seven. Depends on which network you. Well, no, I could, no, don't say that. I'm saying it doesn't. No matter what network you are, it doesn't. It shouldn't be on. They shouldn't be doing twenty four seven on it. And then they go. We get the we get the hurricane. Okay, terrible. We, we hate when hurricanes hit. We feel sorry for the people who get their homes flooded out, right? Right. But the fact of the matter is, it doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect you. It doesn't I'm, affect 99.9% .9 of the country. Yeah, it does because you don't drive. But oh, you know God. what's going to happen to the price of fuel because of the hurricane? 95% of the oil that comes out of the Gulf is is unavailable and will be unavailable so the price of fuel i paid four dollars and seventy cents for regular the, uh, yesterday four dollars and seventy cents i don't give a shit i don't have a car what i hey I, you know i understand let me be selfish my, let me be very selfish and say i don't own a car therefore i don't care 
Yes, but when thing, uh, but the price of electricity is going to go up. Is Con Ed still? My got electricity new- is expensive enough as it is. You know, what my bill last month was almost no. six hundred dollars. You know, the bill in my store only runs six to eight hundred dollars, and I, you know, I've got yeah. six thousand square feet yeah. plus monster air conditioners. Well, I on- have, I have what uh, twenty five hundred square feet here. Yeah, but you don't, you don't need, you know, you only have a portable air conditioner. I've got. Uh, a ten thousand thing on the seal on the roof, and yeah. I but I think if we actually had one of those, we'd be yeah. better off. Yeah, you know, we well, would we would be better off than uh, the window. Uh, uh, yeah, because they're more efficient. Okay, than these yeah. window things we've got, and plus, I've got some people staying with us. They're in the other room. Yeah, I can't. They can't turn on the air conditioner. You know why? Because no. I've got the air conditioner on in here because I need it while the show. Blow the fuse. I'll blow the fuse, which is down in the basement. Yeah. And my super would have to get out of bed and go down. And, and I mean, if it happens in the middle of the night, I don't know how I'm going to get anybody to turn and fix that thing. You know, because the electricity is all cattywampus in this place. Yeah, you know, and then the water. Well, uh, I won't even talk about the water pressure. You know, it's disgusting, and they keep well, going. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. What? I, I wonder if there was some sort of a, uh, a electric generator that you could have as an emergency backup. Oh, no, I can get. I was thinking of this. They have them at uh, Costco for about 150 bucks. It's it's a backup generator. Yeah. Uh, and it's uh, just, you know, it plugs into the wall and it stays there and it's charging all the time. It's got a battery in it. And if the right. well, if the electricity goes out, I right. don't have much time. Okay. I don't think I could do my whole show on that battery. But yeah. it's say goodbye. It, it gives me enough time to turn everything off appropriately. Right. Yes. And, and uh, wait for the electricity to well, come that's, back on. That's not a UPS unit. I'm talking uh, about these. Uh, these Yeti. Oh, and yeah, I know you're talking about the, the, the it's gas driven and you. Oh, it's, it's electric, and and they have solar panels as well uh, that you yeah, can put well, in. The- I really that's more than I need. I just need something to give me enough time to turn everything off decently. Well, that's a UPS. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. USP UPS. Do you have yeah, a U- I, you have one I, there? Yeah, I have. Yeah, uh, APC. Have you ever had, yeah, yeah, APC, that's what it is. But have you ever had the electricity go out on you? Yes. And what, and, ha- and what uh, happened? Uh, it gives me 10 or 15 minutes to shut everything down. Yeah. It, uh, the thing uh, makes noise. And about every two years, it costs me 120 bucks for another battery. Hmm. Batteries don't last uh, forever. Yeah. But unit is like $400. So... Uh, because this is 750 watts. Let me take a look. Does, it doesn't matter. You don't have to go. Uh, I don't. I don't see the. Uh, He's getting down on his hands and knees to. Yeah. No, it's on the desk. <laughs> but uh, okay. Uh, but it's, it was, it's, my, my point is, is that you know, I it, it, and every time the electricity goes out, it takes me forever to turn everything back on. I mean, I've got a raid that actually has to ref fix itself and then turn turn itself off and turn it back on again and maybe turn it off and turn it back on again before everything in it is working. Well, I that's mean, another just, reason to uh, to have the, U, uh, the UPS. APC, I think, is the brand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I think mine is the APC 750. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it, works, it works fine. And uh, I buy the battery when I need to replace it, because I've had it maybe seven or eight years, mm-hmm. uh, I buy the battery on Amazon. They deliver it to my door. Mm-hmm. It's easy to replace. Yeah. Uh, and it's handled. And how much handled, is the battery? Uh, 120 bucks. Oh, boy. Well, so it's 60 bucks a year, you know. And, uh, yeah. Times it lasts a little longer than two years, but not. not wait, much. wait, getting back to what I was saying. It's all, you know, news. Uh, I was always taught that the problem is news is 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 proximity. Yes, that's true. The relevancy Local. of any news is the proximity, and that means like where you live is more important to you than anything else. I mean, the average person in America 
really doesn't give a shit about Afghanistan because it doesn't affect them personally. Uh, maybe they have maybe they have someone uh, in the military who's over there, and then it has proximity for them. You know, I know uh, I had a guy working for me uh, years ago that it was Afghani, and he got a, a very high security clearance and went over to Afghanistan for two years uh, as a translator. And uh, uh, so, you know, they offered him, it was a, uh, a company, not, not the military, but a company that contracted to the military. Yeah. And he was getting, I don't know, $200,000 a year uh, uh, to go over there because he spoke and read Pashti. And uh, so he, uh, you know, he, he was over there, but he's got family over there and I'm, I'm concerned. I gave him a call the other day when all this was going down. No, that's fine that you're concerned, but that gives you proximity. That gives you a little. But there's a lot of people like me. Yeah, but uh, it, all I'm saying is I'm not saying don't report it. I'm just yeah. saying they over report it. Well, they, take it they take it out. It's like they go on this binge as soon as they see something like the, the hurricane coming. Oh, man, now that's all they're going to talk about. Hey, there's right. other news going on in the world. Why did you tell me about radio? That you get a different audience every 15 minutes, right? Yeah. Now, this morning, Faye said to me, because of the Afghan stuff, and we're watching Fox, and she says, I saw that. I saw that. This is, they're repeating it. They're repeating it. Oh, no, I they, said, they, that's they, because people go to work, and new people wake up in the morning, and they watch. Do, do you want to know something? I'll tell you. Uh, uh, when I was in, ra when I started out in radio, we used to do news every hour on the hour. Right. And I said, why do we do news every hour on the hour? Although, it, it, as years went on, that disappeared on a lot of music stations. Yeah. But I said, why do we do it every hour on the hour? And the, the answer I got back was, people want to know nothing has changed. Really? Yeah. That when you did the news on the hour, and it was the same as you did last hour, that's, that makes people happy. Well, you know, you're at home and you're watching and listening all day. But most people, they go to work. Uh, this, today? I don't sit home watching all day. I don't watch these news outfits anymore. I can't stand it. I mean, every time I tuned it in this week, it was either hurricane or Afghanistan. Hurricane or Afghanistan. Hey, isn't there an election going on in California? Is, aren't there? Uh, uh, how, how about COVID? How about I, COVID? I that killed like a thousand people in the day that we only oh, lost 15 uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, it's not a matter of the numbers. It's a matter of how things are going down in Afghanistan. But let me tell you. I you feel, have a, look, I feel, I feel, okay, say I'm cruel, but I feel less sorry for a military guy who signs up for the military and then wants to go to Afghanistan than I do for the person who gets COVID because some other asshole didn't watch out for himself, didn't wear a mask, didn't get a vaccination or whatever. I feel sorry for that guy. I don't feel oh. sorry for the guys who, by the way, get COVID and then die from COVID because they didn't get the vaccination, right? Yeah. I, I don't feel sorry for them at all. They can There's go to hell. They, they may, COVID. Huh? There's two classes of COVID people, those that got and those that didn't. You know, uh, I got a guy that worked for me, uh, works for me, mm -hmm. and his uh, kids got COVID, and he got COVID prior to the vaccine, mm -hmm. and his mother died from COVID, uh, and that's how they they caught it from her, I guess. So what what ended up happening was the school wants his kids to get the vaccine, mm -hmm. and his kids, they're very mature. They they don't want to do it. They said, look, you know, I had COVID. We have the antibodies and, uh, you know, some people, uh, some studies have shown that the antibodies are even more powerful than the vaccine. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it, there's a whole bunch of people that have the antibodies. There's a whole bunch of people that got the shot. Uh, when, are, when are we going to reach this herd immunity that they promised us? Well, we're not going to reach it till we hit at least 80%. And for the most part in this country, we have not hit 80%. We're only here in New York City, I think, first shot. Mm -hmm. The f first shot, 78%. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and well, we're, we're exceptional here. All right. 
Well, you know, uh, th there were there were countries that had eradicated, uh, pretty much eradicated COVID, which was like uh, South Korea, uh, and now and they're having back again. Yeah. Hmm? Well, now it's yeah. back again. Yeah, but let me ask you: Is it Trump's fault that South Korea, Japan, Malaysia, and all these other countries are having all of these problems with COVID? How you know? Can we blame Trump for that? No. Who's blaming Trump for that? Well, Trump is blamed for everything. No, the, being, how is Trump blamed for that? Come on, he's Phil. He's blamed for COVID in this country. He's blamed for COVID in this country because he didn't he didn't get on the job and, and do everything he could to kind of prevent it by saying, hey, everybody, look at me. I'm wearing a mask. You wear a mask, too. That's one of the ways well, we're going to take care of this until we have an, a, 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 a vaccination. Well, but he didn't do anything like that. He didn't set an example. There's two things. Uh, I heard a guy talking today mm -hmm. saying that uh, the reason that influenza and COVID and all these things started to go down is because of masks. But then I see these other reports that say masks don't do a damn thing. Oh, I haven't seen any reports that say they don't do a damn uh, thing. I don't know uh, what reports you're reading or where you're seeing them. You're probably watching OAN or Newsmax wish I was watching OAN, but uh, it's not on uh, it's not on my well, unfortunately uh, it's on here. And, yeah. and the only thing that's nice about it is there's some nice reporters there with big tits. Oh, yeah. by the way, uh, be sure to, you know, me to me. Oh, uh, hey, uh, if that's if that's the case, if that's what you're after, why don't you watch that Telenova, whatever that Spanish uh, thing is? Because well, they have the best looking well, biggest the telenovelas. Helen, is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, well, here's the thing I never got. Do you, do you ever remember a woman? Spanish who, station. Do you ever remember a woman who used to be on those Spanish stations named uh, Iris Chacon? No, well, I watched uh, She was what they called a vedette. A vedette is a rather overabundant woman who wears absolutely almost nothing. Yeah. Okay? And uh -huh. she would go on the air every week and do a coochie coochie, constantly dancing with her ass being going, this big, huge ass bouncing everywhere okay huge uh, uh, enormous breasts okay she, and then you say to yourself now wait a minute isn't mexico a catholic country yeah <laughs> you know and yet this is the biggest show on mexican television that's that's because the uh, catholics usually suppress these desires no no but, and, uh, but somehow and then at the end of every show after doing all her hoochie coochie her last yeah. number was her in a choir outfit singing a religious song. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Like I'm going to make up for it now. I'm going to take care of all my sins from the past hour. And Pence. and, and Pence dinner. Yeah, it was a great. It was my favorite show. It's my favorite show. I don't well, know if she's still alive or not, but man, she was the best. Yeah. And then she used to have these uh, these chorus boys, who would all lift her up and hold them over their head, and as she years went on she got a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger and they were now struggling it was like did she have uh, kardashian ass oh she had kardashian ass two kardashians <laughs> one on each cheek okay so. hey uh this uh background this is a uh, photo i did of fireworks and uh, uh it's a special technique i learned where you uh, hold the shutter down on bulb and you keep it open, and then you uh, start from uh, near to, uh, to close. You you open manually uh, the um, uh, the focus, mm -hmm. and uh, you let up the bulb or you let up the shutter when uh, the fireworks have uh, have stopped. And I I get these kinds we, of we uh, we don't want to know how the cow is slaughtered. We just want the steak. Okay. <laughs> Well, this is a very unique way of shooting fireworks. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, what else? Is there anything else in the news that we need to talk about? Yeah, let's see. Uh, I, um, I'm not happy with Biden. I, uh, but, and I think that he's, his ratings are going to be lower than Pelosi's. Actually, they've uh, gone up again. What, from zero? No, they aren't at zero. Look, your guy Trump was at zero. He never got above 38, okay? At he, least Biden is over. At least Biden is over 50. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, yeah, he's plenty over 50. I think he's over 80. <laughs> oh, now we're making ages jokes about Joe Biden. Yeah. Look, well, I know you don't like Joe Biden, and uh, uh, I, I would love to defend him to you. Yeah. Uh, but I think he's made some, some mistakes where this whole thing is concerned. You know? Well, I yeah. think that uh, they knew, according to the news. But, but, but by the way, speaking of Trump, yeah. he created this whole deal that was made with the Taliban. Yes, absolutely. He, yeah, he uh, he made a deal with them to put a hotel. No, in Kabul. no, no, that, no, that was no. He made the deal with the Taliban on that we were going to get on May on May second. Yeah. And uh, and and uh, there were some conditions there, but the yeah, condition, but, were. but the conditions have been met. No, they had not been met. Uh, the conditions were that there were supposed to be Taliban and Afghani rule. They were going to rule in concert, and uh, the the and according to the conditions on the ground, Trump said that the Taliban did not meet the standard that they had agreed on and would not have so what do you uh, suggest we stay there for another 20 years no but we uh, keeping well, what, Bagram, should, what should we have done uh, well if we were going to get out what we should have done is everybody pay attention by the way because this man will be the next president of the United right. States July 8th there was a phone call between Biden and the president uh, uh, of Afghanistan Mm -hmm. And they kind of agreed that uh, things weren't kind of where things weren't going the way they thought they were going to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, but they didn't want the optics of this to uh, overshadow Biden's desire to pull the troops out uh, prior to uh, 9-11. Mm -hmm. So uh, what what happened was they ignored the fact that the Taliban was moving closer and closer and taking more territory and not abiding by the agreement. Now, if he just wanted to get out, he could have done this. He could have started in uh, mid-July, he could have started re removing uh, uh, the American citizens and the Afghan allies that they try to get out. So he had months to start the drawdown and then he could have also removed our equipment uh, and, you know, not uh, not left it there to be plundered. Now, he knew that this was going on July 8th. He knew this. Mm -hmm. And it's public knowledge that that phone call is 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 public knowledge. So therefore, knowing that this was going on, he could have drawn those people out and still met his deadline and not left anyone behind. That's and and not close down Bagram until uh, he uh, had uh, an exit. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a plan, and his plan was uh, was flawed. You know, he th he thought the Taliban, but neither, but neither did Trump. And Trump made the deal, but he had no plan. If do you think do you think you're, if you're Trump boring. do you think if Trump had won the election, he'd be doing a better job over there? Yes, I don't think so. Absolutely. I, absolutely I, I, not. I, I think can Biden you look at was, how that asshole operated that he would be he would even be capable of, do, of taking care that of that Biden was told that this was a uh, this this could take place and he was stubborn and said no this is the way he's going to do it. I don't think Biden's a very good leader and I think that he made some strategic and mistakes. And Trump was a good leader? Much better than Biden. Oh, geez. You know, Phil, Phil, day. you really, you know, one of these days, I would love you to just say, look, I was a little mistaken about Trump. He really I was wasn't. a douchebag. I wasn't. And we really deserve better than that. Right. And we Why? deserve right. better. And if you want to say we deserve better than Biden. Uh, fine, but you know, I mean, why are you still defending Donald I, I, Trump? Oh, yeah. Are you out of your I, fucking mind? No, you you don't like the way Trump tweeted. It hurts your feelings. No, that was a, you, know what, you know what bothered me, Phil? Yeah. People who are stupid bother me, and he was stupid. Well, he he was so stupid he had the best economy ever. Uh, oh no, he didn't. No, he didn't. There were much oh, better, been much know, like in my lifetime. There have been much better periods of economy than that. Well. 
uh, let me tell you, after coming out of Obama's eight years, what, and that what, malaise that he had. Uh, wait a minute, it, wait a minute. Know, Obama got, got, uh, got uh, um, uh, what do you call them, the, the car companies out of a real jam, and he ended the whole thing with the, all the homes being repossessed and things like that. Don't you remember that? Of course I remember. Of course I remember. Uh, you know, I, I was having trouble. I, you know, uh, if it wasn't for the equity I had in my house, my business would have gone under. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I used a half a million dollars in equity yeah. to keep my business running during that 08 recession. And uh, then I sold the house to pay it off. You know, hey, so. Hey, listen, we got uh, all we have here waiting is Alan. Should I just admit him and we can keep going? Uh, why don't you Why don't you let him defend himself? <laughs> no, no, but I don't want to. I don't want to just only have Alan here. Well, then uh, you call somebody. <laughs> well, I'm not going to call anybody. Yeah, well, Tony will call. All right, I'll I'll stick around for a few minutes. But I I've been going since 4:30 this morning. Yeah, and, well, uh, so have I. I don't know. Uh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, there he is. Jesus, yeah. is this loud? What's loud? You turn the volume down. Oh, no shit. It's up to 67 now. Uh, much better. So What kind of thing? Is okay. Now I got the volume. It was my computer. I rebooted it. did a software update. Oh. Had the volume up. Uh, well, Alan, Alan I like your background. Thank you. Alan was the one that convinced me not to get the, the COVID booster at this time. Right? Uh, right? Yes. Yeah, you're taking medical advice from from Alan. Okay. Uh, some things he knows, you know, uh, and some things he you know, doesn't. Some things but... he makes you feel he knows. Well, he's he... very good at convincing you that. I mean, where are you going to get this information? You got to read it. He reads. Oh, it. I, I go to OAN and Newsmax. Yeah. Well, I, I I would go there too, uh, but right now I got to settle for Fox and Friends. Alan was the one that convinced me. Oh, uh, somebody's got uh, their. Uh, 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 Jeff, you've got your audio on. Check your browser. <laughs> Get rid of your browser. Yeah. <sighs> if you turn the browser off, because you don't need the browser. Your browser right? is the thing that's causing the problem there. I mean, where are you going to get this information? Once you're there, on there Zoom. There you go. You got once it. you're on yeah. Zoom, you do not need the browser. Yeah. Right. You, only you need can the actually browser. turn the computer off. No, you don't turn the computer off. What are you going to do Zoom on? Oh, oh shit. I think he just did. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm yeah. still there. Jeff's there. Oh, and we've still got that audio coming back. Oh. Wait a minute. Let That's me tell. Uh, I don't know. Jeff, oh, Jeff is uh, the most computer impaired person I know outside of Jack I, that Bishop. That was Irv Jackson. Yeah, no, I said outside of Jack Bishop. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me see here. I, I should ask him to uh, uh, turn on his uh, turn on his camera. No, no. See, see, Alex. I think the thing is what you were talking about with Phil, and he said that Trump had the best economy ever. Mm -hmm. I think the Republicans have a short memory. Yeah. And, and I and I also agree with you, Alex, that that um, that I think Trump would have made a real mess of pulling our troops out of there. Alan, uh, can you spell kiss ass? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not kissing your ass this time. Oh, not me. <laughs> Big uh, Alec Kitty's pal. Well, we're being joined by Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hi, Alex. Hi, Hi Phil. Hey. Hi, Alan. How are you doing? <clears throat> been hearing any? All right. Been hearing any of this? I just caught the tail end of it yeah. the last five minutes or so. Idiocy, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Phil, I don't know how you can't, how you can't, uh, at least give Joe some some credit for at least having balls and getting a hundred and twenty thousand people out of that country. I don't, I don't understand how you can, you know, he did, he did at least suck it up and 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 go through with Trump's. Uh, you know his his commitment trump did start the whole thing looking for optics he wanted everybody optics out. bullshit he stood up and did it yeah he he did it but he didn't do it uh the right way 
No, you know what? Nobody would have done it the right way. How do you know that? Well, I mean, it was how do a, I know that? All right, what, what, what's the right way? As I explained to Alex uh, in the last half hour, I didn't see that. So explain to me. Okay. Uh, what the situation was, July eighth, there was a phone call between uh, 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 who's the president of uh, Afghanistan, uh, uh, Irmani Aghani. Yeah, whatever his name is. Yeah, Bozo, the guy who ran off with one hundred forty-seven million dollars. <laughs> yes. Falling out of garbage bags. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, you know, he may have run off with the 147 million, but he dropped some, and uh, you know, uh, I got it. You got so, it. Oh, good for you. Save, save some down to me. <laughs> so anyway, what happened was there was a phone call January, uh, July 8th, between uh, uh, the president of Afghanistan and Biden, uh, where they both agreed that. Things weren't going so well, and the Taliban were was moving on uh, most of the country, and it sure. looked like, like things were going to fall. At that point, Biden should have started removing uh, the the uh, American citizens and the uh, Afghani uh, sim uh, not sympathizers, but the Afghani uh, uh, workers that uh, aided the uh, the troops. Now, at that point, uh, he could have removed them. Uh, he could have taken a lot of that equipment that was left. Now, uh, they knew that Afghanistan was going to fall. They knew it was going to fall. So they knew it January, July 8th. So therefore, he could have removed a significant amount of that uh, ordinance, as well as uh, the Black Hawk helicopters, the drones. And so and just leave them all standing there naked. Then that's yeah. a good idea. He could have. That's a good idea. Stand there and leave them all standing there naked. They already they already knew that they they were going to lose uh, the country to the Taliban. I mean, so it was, leave our troops standing there naked and trying to get those people out of there with no equipment there. That makes no sense. But you're not listening. What, OK, that, go ahead. Okay, the equipment should not have been removed until the end. But well, that's what they did. No, they didn't because there's 81 billion dollars worth of equipment. Our most high tech equipment is in the hands of the Taliban. No, it's not, Phil. It's not. Whatever no, it's is left, not. No, it's whatever not. is left, they put lead through the screens yes, of everything. Exactly. They, 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 they burned they, up they, everything they, that's there. They demilitarized. Anything that's there is just dead metal. No, they flew. Not Phil, stupid. Phil, listen to Kevin. He's telling you the truth. They, They're not stupid. They, uh, you guys sit there and think that they, they gave them the software. Sure, they gave them the manual, too. Here's the manual. Here's how it works. They're not stupid. Think that there was Afghani's that uh, left uh, the Afghan army, and those are the ones that are flying the Black Hawk helicopters through the streets of Talib, uh, uh, the streets of Kabul. No, they're not. No, they're That's not. what's happening. No, they're, they're not. Doing, no, they're not, yeah. Phil. Yes. No, they're they, not. No, they're yeah. not. They have a C-17. They got. Uh, they got air. Uh, they, they, they none got of that works, Phil. They no, de I, they did what they call demilitarized it. I'll, I believe that when I see it. No, Why don't we just bring I, it back? I, I saw an interview with a military man uh, who was in charge of the stuff over there, and he said, we demilitarized all this stuff. The stuff that was left back at the air bases and so on, we made sure didn't work anymore and never would work. Uh, yeah, okay. They... There's, I have never. I not know where you get your information, and you get it from unreliable sources, Phil. But I can tell you this: there hasn't been one report, and I watch the news for a couple of hours in the morning, and a, and an hour or so when I get home at night. And I'm telling you that this story has not existed anywhere but in your mind. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Or or after you get off work. How many here you have go heard what I said about this? No, being, that's not true. About the equipment being uh, demilitarized. demilitarized. Neither side of our government is that stupid, Phil. I'm sorry, but that's not true. Whether it's Republican, whether it's Democrat, whoever, our military is not that stupid to leave that shit laying around for for pe other people to operate. Okay. Hey, come on. United States government demilitarized. Oh yeah, go to the internet. Oh, go yeah. to the internet. Oh, yeah. There well, you go you'll again. You'll find out anything you want to substantiate your your. Cereal, tell us. Yeah. You know, you gotta. 
Here's a report you? from 2006, Kevin. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 2006, everybody. Go ahead. Current. So if they demilitarized, that, okay, gear left behind in Afghanistan was demilitarized to uh, unfit to uh, withdraw from what we're covering. This is CNN. Okay. When was this, 2006? Oh, this is another report. This one's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he what he does is he puts in grabbing de- demilitarized straws. equipment, uh, 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 Afghanistan, and then he I puts love you, Phil. Article this on. this is supporting what you said, uh, which I had not seen. It's uh, uh, gear left behind in Afghanistan was demilitarized and made unfit to use. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't know that. Apparently, you didn't know that. Well, that's you know I'm not trying to drive you into the ground, but that's just that's just crazy thinking that that's not happening. I mean, that was on CNN. I but oh, was, okay, then they're liars. Yeah, I know. I'm network news. Find but, a Fox thing that'll tell you what you want to hear. Yeah, well, it'd be nice, uh, but <laughs> I had this. This is the good. This is like the good old days, Alex. I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This report. This is classic yeah. Phil. This report is August 31st, so it's today. Yeah, okay, so it, it, it said exactly what we were saying. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Uh, so, let's get back to the other subject. Why can't you give our president a little bit of, a little bit of credit for standing up there and s- taking all the bullshit that he's taking? I just read something. I just oh, read Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, I wait stepped on you. Go ahead. Excuse me. No, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. News break. Phil read something. What was demilitarized was what they left at the Kabul airport, no. not what is what not what was in Bagram and on the streets. So let me so tell you, lied. Huh? You don't have to demilitarize a machine gun; they always work. Yeah, but <laughs> we're talking about if you read the full story, mm-hmm. it was the stuff that was at the airport. Uh, and Kabul, not the stuff that uh, was left for uh, left for uh, anybody to pick up. You don't think uh, they did the same thing everywhere else we went left? Uh, not, nec- not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, that's not your argument, Phil. Your argument is they didn't. And not necessarily doesn't count in the my discussion. Argument, my argument is that they did. And if this is not 1975. This is uh, 2021, and we have a little bit different with the, with the night vision and these other things uh, that are uh, that the Chinese and the Russians are going. Night to- vision is nothing is exciting. You don't have to demilitarize night vision. It's you can buy that on the internet. It's and no. And they big have deal. tons of money. They have to leave it there. They have so yeah, leave so it they, there. Yes. Who cares? You know why they it, left it there? If, I can get night vision. I'll call Amazon. I can get night vision. Yeah, but now they have it. So? So they can they call it. Amazon and get night vision. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't call Amazon and, and, and delivery. And by the way, make it it'll come overnight and you'll be able to see it coming. Yeah. yeah. At <laughs> night. So you get two of them. But uh Nah, it's uh, it's time. I'm dominating the thing. Maybe it's time for me to. You know, no, no, oh, no, no. That's all right, Phil. No, you're not. Dominating but I, I don't, all. I don't know your 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 reasoning for saying that Trump would have made it better. I don't believe any president would have made it better. Whether it was Trump, whether it was Bush, whether it was Obama, whether it was Biden, That's, nobody did would have made it any better. I, it was yeah. anybody that did it and. Biden had the balls to stand up there and just do it. Can I say something important here, by the way? And ride it out. Even even classic Phil is better than no Phil at all. Yeah. Would you all right. agree, everybody? I <laughs> agree. <laughs> Coke Zero. Uh, let me. Let me. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Coke Zero. <laughs> no sugar. <laughs> not what I was going to say, but you thank you, Tony. Doing him, Alex. Yeah. I laugh when I listen to him when you're talking to him. <laughs> I'm bed like your legs in front of him. I'm like, <laughs> I, I know what I was going to say. Uh, maybe Trump wouldn't have done any better. We can't hypothesize or, or uh, you know, uh, decide what it what it would have been, could have been, should have been. But the bottom line is, Biden didn't do it right. He screwed up. And whether Trump would have, wouldn't have, it doesn't matter. Trump's not the president. 
the president is the guy that they put all those extra ballots in and 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 elected the president is the guy that sat in his basement for six months that's the president that's the guy you elected so therefore his, that guy wh- screwed wait a up. It, number one he wasn't in his basement all the time but he was down there because that's where he had his studio yeah and that's where covid wasn't and that's where but COVID that's okay. wasn't yeah exactly thank you very much Kevin. He, he he had three masks on but that's you know, right he didn't get sick your your president got sick your president didn't wear a mask and look how ill he got and if they hadn't pumped him so much full of so much radizavir he, he used up the whole western civilization's uh supply of it that you know he got a medical treatment that no yeah. other human being in america got, got at that time i think he actually tried the the lysol yeah, yeah the, the, you got so, no. the Clorox. Uh, check your mic. Yeah. Too far away, or uh, uh, you're on a different. Who, who's too far away? You. Me? No, you're fine, Alex. Uh, I, I I think I'm. Bill's I'm equipment fine. is messed up. Oh, I see. Okay, I thought I thought I was okay. I love when he's talking and nobody can hear him. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> you wait. You wait. When I get five minutes to have my new board hooked up. <laughs> And I start putting on the reverb. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like God. <laughs> yeah, really. Why don't you why don't you go to Afghanistan? You can get some extra free gear while you're there. Yeah. Look what I got in Afghanistan. Yeah? Oh, it's a ghost. It's a ghost. I got you one too, Phil. Here you go. Here's your new, here's your new pistol. <laughs> this one comes with bullets too. What's this killer ammunition like by? You can by... save money on a stop over in Kabul. <laughs> Alex, that you need a stop over in Kabul. What am I doing here? I'm saving a hundred bucks. I'm right in between you two. The, the Taliban are selling these at a discount. They probably are. <laughs> They're getting. Oh, but I can't seven dollars on Amazon. You paid eighty for that, huh? <laughs> Mine has weight. Yours has weight. No. So does this. Yeah, got a magazine that drops out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got a magazine with pages. So you'd okay. be going to the guy, the Taliban, then the plane. Before I board, is there a meal in the first class? <laughs> no, but I got an AK-47 with your name does, on it. Does, mag- does your gun load like a regular 1911? No. Does the magazine come out? No. That's nice. These two guys are fighting over toy guns, for crying out loud. <laughs> I saw this recently, and I was going to give it to Phil because he's always looking for something new. Oh, I got something to protect him. What do you got to do? That's right, something to protect him. <laughs> Wait, what are you saying, Phil? Uh, fixing uh, my background uh, because Tony's here. And oh, yeah, my put my mom's paper up. Yeah, really? And I'm gonna rip this paper down and probably find money. <laughs> she stashed money in here. He doesn't have as much light on his now. Notice it's the same. Yeah, actually, uh, Phil's is is is, is nice and then you got to get more light on that, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, you know what it is? I got to maybe change the light bulb in here. He always had bad lighting up here. It gets hot and bad lighting. Well, no, it used to be better lighting because that background was shot when you oh. were, you know. All right. But uh, you know, it, it's it's fine. It's good. It's good. So oh. what? Oh, there it is. It's my electric bill over at Tony's. Yeah. My bill wasn't bad this morning. What like is what is that, years. Jeff? I heard you. Phil. Six hundred almost fell out of the bed. That's <laughs> Phil. Oh, uh, you forgot the little Hitler mustache. <laughs> <laughs> you just drew that just now, Jeff. Yeah. I uh, you're, I you're good at drawing. I horrible at horrible at working your computer, but good at drawing. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. My yeah. pencil still works. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank, <laughs> just say thank God there's a Jack Bishop, and I'm still not the worst guy at a computer. You know, uh, you're you're fine, That's Jeff. Right. You're fine. <laughs> Nobody's gonna attack Jeff without me kicking their ass. God, all yeah. of a sudden, all of a sudden, I got lightheaded. I don't know why. I get uh, up on this. Per gabbling, probably. No, I think I, it has something to do with my right eyesight. There. I think. I'm beginning mm. to think. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe maybe this stuff that we've been uh, 
putting on our um, in our hands to get rid of the uh, or the help with the arthritis. Well, yeah, well, this is we we do these these things that you did. You send me these. Who sent me these? Did you send them out? Bill. Alan? Bill sent them to you. This is like well, you can't see it because the green screen it disappears. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, but it's uh, it's uh, we use it to, because I've got arthritis here and it hurts. Oh, I got to go see the doctor this week and get. Now, some is course. it working? Well, here, it looks no. like this. It's putty. I don't yeah. have a green yeah. screen. Right, right, right. That, it, uh, it's a putty, and they're, they're different strength if I, putty. If I stick it here, and the next yeah. one up that I have is blue, and if you get past blue, you can go to black. That's cute, Alex. Yeah. I like the way you did that. Yeah. Really? There you go. Hey, here you go, Alex. Doesn't this look more like what you want to put your mouth on? Oh, shut up. Use it. Shut yeah. up. It's not green enough. It's like Play-Doh. It's like Play-Doh. Oh, uh, it sort of is. It's it's a therapy putty. Yeah. And if you want some, I'll send it to you, Tony. And you just squeeze it in your hand, and it strengthens and your And they hand. send you they send you four different strengths of it. This is number three. The fourth one is pretty hard. It's, uh, uh, here's the here's the four: pink, easy, yellow, easy, something like that. And I haven't opened the blue yet. It's probably too tough for me. Blue, I opened I like it up. It green. is pretty tough. I bought the black. After if the four come with the deal, then I got the black, which is really hard. Really. Get that on Amazon too? Uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's like the night vision goggles. Yeah, yeah, you buy night vision goggles and this stuff, and uh, there the you trouble go. is, is that you all do the, it at night. all the glass is broken on the night vision goggles that he got. <laughs> that came from Afghanistan. Yeah. You know, all a man needs is a good running car, and he doesn't have to answer to no one. Right? Really? I don't own a car. I haven't owned a car in, jeez, 15 years? 15 years I haven't owned a car. 16 years. Now, I don't even know if I know how to drive anymore. Well, you drive everybody crazy. Drive everybody crazy? I, I can do without any problem. Yeah. You know. But uh, anyway, so, uh, you know, uh, uh, all I'm saying is, is that uh, I... Uh, I'm tired of the of, of non news. I, I you know I think that yes, Afghanistan's an important story. So is the hurricane, but it's not the only, they're not the only stories. That's what not, I'm saying. It's non news for you because it's not in your proximity. Well, I'm saying that proximity is very important <coughs> to people. Have a listen. Like I have I have my friend uh, my buddy Love is here in the studio watching this nonsense go on, and uh, he lives out in San Francisco. And you're there, by the way, Phil, and you're there, Alan. So you all care about the Gavin Newsom election, a recall, right? Absolutely. I just got, I just got again. trained the other day for it. Yeah. Oh, and you're, of course, Kevin, you're in Northern California, too. I'm working the election. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, do you think that anybody in New York really gives a shit about that election? They should. Nope. They, they should. They should. They should, <laughs> but they don't. Because it doesn't affect them personally, it doesn't. Well, it, it doesn't have doesn't have proximity. What happens in California eventually affects the rest of the nation. Uh, the kinds of things that they do, uh, you know, on taxes and uh, restrictive laws, uh, and uh, they they usually trickle down to other parts of the country. That's why with the Second Amendment uh, uh, deal. Uh, they uh, they know that they're going to adapt the magazine restrictions. Uh, we're not allowed to have magazines with more than ten rounds, and so other I'm not, states. I'm, I, I won't allow magazines in my house that have any less than ten naked women. Uh, there you go. I like that yeah. type of magazine. Oh, you yeah. read Boys World or something? Yeah, what, boys what's life. the one? Boys Life. Uh, boys Life. Yeah. yeah what, boys Life. He got it off your coffee table, Phil. Stole it from his from his dentist, <laughs> you know. Publishers the, Clearinghouse. Yeah, what's the one that the dentist always it was have? Boys Life. Yeah. Boys Life. Yeah. Are they girls that have to go to the dentist? What is this? The Taliban? Ah, you're a girl. You can't get your teeth fixed. You can't go to school. Well, they don't have to get their teeth fixed because you can't see them. Uh, proximity. Proximity. It's important. Yeah. But all, I, all I'm saying is, is that. 
that uh, uh, I just I just think that these networks they go on and do the same stories. I mean, uh, the whole cycle for the last week has <coughs> been Hurricane Afghanistan, Hurricane Afghanistan. And, yeah, but and all, next week they'll all be gone. Yeah, but all I'm saying is that in that period of time, there's stuff happening everywhere else too, you know. And yeah. we don't we don't get we don't have to begin with we don't have a world vision here in America. Except but, next Tuesday, Phil will be still talking about Larry Elder. And I'm happy with him. You're happy with Larry Elder. Oh God! You oh are, God! You know Please. it's one no it's one thing to be a Republican. It's a it's one thing to be a conservative. It's quite another thing to be a fucking moron when it comes to the people you elect. You Democrats have the same playbook that you had with Bruce Hershenson versus Barbara Bos Boxer. What uh, Boxer said, Bruce Hershenson went to a strip club. And, uh, and, and I'll she, tell you something, Barbara Boxer was certainly hotter than Bruce Hershenson. Absolutely. God. You know, you know. What do you mean, guys? Wait, me Barbara mocked. Boxer was hot. Uh, they, they were even Pelosi was hot at one time, but next you'll tell uh, me mom's uh, there Mabley. There you're dreaming. Yeah, hey, mom's Mabley was hot, right? What? <laughs> what? I've seen photos. Have uh, you seen photos? photos? Yeah. Naked ones? No, no. no. Okay. I, I've never seen Barbara Boxer either. But uh, okay. Nancy oh. Pelosi was a Maybe boss, Barbara had. Boxer was at the strip club, and that's how she knew. Here, move that. in here, and let's see if I can fit you here's, in here. Here's you Here's something for you. Wait, wait, come in, come in. Okay. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get, the, get the chair yeah. over there. Am I? Yeah. In? See, and there make sure go. your face is in there. See. Buddy Love. You gonna put his This is Buddy Love, Phil, ladies. Hi guys. Here's buddy, hi uh, buddy. Hey, here's, how you here's, doing? You know, we're talking proximity. Here's something I, I've just been made aware of. Uh, I don't know if you all know this, but in um, uh, actually, what is it? Hey, buddy. About, hour, about an hour and a half in Texas. Uh, a law will be passed and signed by uh, Abbott outlawing abortion for any woman after six weeks of pregnancy. That means they have to know within six weeks that they're pregnant and terminate the, uh, the pregnancy within six weeks or they are breaking the law. Yeah. It passed, it went through, and, and this is a sneaky way for the Republicans in Texas uh, to to go after Roe versus Wade. Now, th here's six white males, uh, no, no re reproductive uh, qualities among us. Uh, <laughs> so let's get real here, guys. Proximity, uh, yeah, but this is really a, a, a horrible thing that Texas is doing. You know, well, they also passed something today, the legislature in Texas, that makes it almost impossible for people to vote. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you want to carry a gun in, you know, on your side without a permit, no problem. You can do that in Texas too. You, go, you can get a permit in Texas if you want it. Oh, you, got, people, you don't have to have a permit. No, you do California. not need a permit to have an open carry weapon in the want, state of you, Texas. Buddy, if you want a concealed carry weapon in Texas, you can get a permit just by asking and taking a class. You don't need it anymore in well, Texas. You well, just it, walk into the store and buy the gun and put it on you. And then go out the door and shoot somebody. Yeah. In California, so, it's it's a big headache to get a concealed weapon permit. Oh, yeah, you forget but it. If you're a diamond broker, you still have, you might as well toss a coin if you're going to get one or not. You have to go through many hoops to get any That's kind right. of permit. A lot of them are to, unnecessary. To carry, let alone open carry. So Meaning it's, it's, it's not room. concealed. It's on your side. So in other words, I'm driving down the freeway and somebody cuts me off and I get upset with them. And I might want to maybe drive up next to them and flip them off. Probably a bad idea in Texas now. You know, gun, guns make people very courteous. Yeah. So do semi trucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, talking about they're still legal well, in California. Wait, wait Phil, Phil has something to say, and and it could be moronic enough that we'd have more discussion going on here. <laughs> Go for it, Phil. I love this guy. I love Phil. 
But we all love Phil. Yeah. You know, nobody hates Phil. No, 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 no. I, yeah. I watched the show. It's not like Phil Holly is a did. terrible person. It's no. just his politics are so fucked. Well, they're they're interesting. Well, <laughs> and I'm being very, very gracious when I say that. Earlier, with the boxer Hershenson's comparison, that it's the same playbook that they're using with Elder. They're using with Elder trying to say, oh, he, he, uh, he brought a gun out of the... Uh, out of the uh, drawer uh, when he was talking to his ex-girlfriend, who actually isn't that bad looking. They didn't and say that. Well, of course she didn't. She didn't look that bad. She was one of Heidi Fleiss's hookers. Right. You know. Uh, <laughs> hey, I guess. You know, what, what did Heidi Fleiss charge for those hookers? Five grand. One hundred thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, that, that, that was what Trump had to pay. <laughs> you know. But uh, I mean, yeah. let's face yeah, it. A golden let's, shower. Let, let's put put this in perspective. <laughs> We're talking about a guy who, while he was high on pot, pulled a gun on his girlfriend. He was high on pot. That you, the friendly drug. Yes, the drug but the guy but he. Uh-huh. But I wouldn't want mm-hmm. anybody to pull a gun while they're high on pot. Was, okay. You sure there wasn't a little cocaine? Blue or gun. With the marijuana, perhaps. Oh, he he used to brag about his marijuana usage, mm-hmm. which I can't. You know, we can't argue. You know, under normal conditions, that'd be the reason we vote for him. Exactly. You know? yeah. But uh, he uh, he pulled a gun on his girlfriend, and uh, also he wanted her to have Larry's girl tattooed on her ass. I like it. You like it? Yeah. He well, looks she, like Pelosi. She, is this the kind of? Person that with the, with the the kind of temperament and morality that you want to see leading your state. Mm-mm. Yes, it's. I like his morals a lot more than Newsom. Well, what's wrong with Newsom? The worst thing he ever did. Here, you're comparing a guy like Elder, uh, who pulled a gun while high on pot, asked his girlfriend to put a tattoo on her ass saying "Larry's girl." A lot of other things, and he, she also happened to be a former hooker as well. Okay, wait a minute, let me finish. And you're comparing that to a guy whose biggest crime was eating at a restaurant one night. No. His biggest crime was banging his best friend's wife. That, that was that was years ago. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Excuse me. Out. And Trump gets a, 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 a hall pass from you? Come on. Phil, be real now. Come no, on. No, because he compare he goes, well, what about? Yeah, it's a, the what aboutism? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, well paid. He paid. Well, listen, I got a big I've got a personal gripe with with Gavin. I sent him a letter, three-page letter. I know Gavin personally. He signed into legislation a sweeping law, a sweeping law that that brought in photographers, caterers, flower people, musicians, hello, I'm a musician. In other words, he wanted us all to put on payroll musicians. So in other words, I'm doing a crappy gig at, you know, let me finish, let me finish, please. I'm doing a crappy gig in Redwood City, you know, whatever, you know. I've got my 11 piece band there and I'm paying them each $100 to do two shows because that's about what I can afford to pay them with a guarantee. Now, Gavin Newsom allowed for the sweeping law to bring in me, so now I'm going to do payroll on $100 per man? Uh, No. He backtracked, thank goodness, and uh, negated that part of the, uh, the equation. So, caterers, musicians, flower people, photographers, all those kind of people are not being swept into a, basically a law that was there to help uh, regulate, lift, uh, Uber, all these gig yeah, yeah. economy people. So there. Uh, yes, Alan. So your friend, I, I missed your name. Uh, uh, Phil keeps calling you Bud or Buddy. Buddy, buddy. Love. Okay, Buddy, you, you got a great on air voice. Thank you. Yes. You're almost yep. an entertainer. Yeah. Yeah. He's an entertainer. Yeah, that yeah. Way. He, he is an entertainer. That, oh. that thing you're talking Please. about, buddy. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. You ever heard of him, Kevin? 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You ever Everybody heard of loves, Phil? He's been around the Bay Area for a long time. Y- yeah. 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 Still doing it. I, I don't expect Sorry. that Jeff or 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 or, or, or uh, uh, Tony's he's ever on heard Alex's show. Because, huh? Yeah. He's be on your show. Yeah. Yeah. You can you can look me up, uh, Tony, and who's the other person who would have heard? Tony, Tony and Jeff. Tony, Tony and Jeff. If you go to Buddy Love uh, on YouTube, and that's spelled Bud, one word like we're smoking a Bud. Middle initial E. e period. E. And last name Love, L-U-V, because love ain't a four-letter word. And don't forget that. Okay. You can, you can Google that and yeah. YouTube it. And you you'll get an idea what it is I do. Um, but right, he, right now we're talking politics. And Gavin Newsom, who I am furious with, but I still voted for him because well, this Ga- whole Ga- thing is nothing Gavin more Newsom than a power has his faults, but when you when you yeah. when you think that a guy who spent his entire life doing radio as a radio host is uh, is, is fit yeah. to be governor of a state, you're out of your goddamn mind. Reagan uh, was an actor. Yes. Uh, he was fit to be governor. He was of the a state. terrible governor. Well, there you go again. Terrible you know, actor, too. I was talking to Nancy Pants, and she said, Well, Ronnie. And I said, Is that my name? And she said, Well, yes. And I it's said, Oh. Yeah. Uh, very well, to do drugs, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I got to tell you something. This is the funniest thing I ever, ever happened to me. I get this invitation from Nancy Reagan to an event that she was holding in San Francisco. Oh, I guess rich. because because I'm a uh, just a wonderful human being, I get it from Nancy Reagan and it says, your presence is requested uh, by the Honorable Nancy Reagan. Um, you remember the, where the, the event was for, held? And the event the was uh, 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 Pros for Kids, I think it was called. Just say no to drugs. Cocktail seven thirty. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse you me. You betcha. I remember that campaign. Well, if I could just get just a like a good Catholic. Do. Everybody drive drunk home. Nancy <laughs> Pants. What? What is it? Invitation. What you did to the Trump inaugural. Uh, what is it? To the yeah. Trump. The, the, uh, yeah, you can buy those on the internet. Oh shit! Donated. Cents. <laughs> and then uh, uh, an old little committee, you know, boom, there that. Oh, were you allowed to sit in the in the stands? Yeah, Did really. You know Him? No, you were allowed to be part of the other thirty people that went to that inauguration. You mean you mean thirty million? That was the Biden. Uh, uh, <laughs> Was there more than 30? No, there was less than 30. Biden had probably the least they've ever had on purpose. Because there was a thing called COVID. Have you heard of it? You might have. Trump hasn't. Oh, has Phil been uh, inoculated? I mean, in, uh, vaccinated? Oh, yeah, Phil's oh, been good. vaccinated. See, Phil, you're, 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 you're with us. You're part of the he actually, our he tribe He's actually now. talking about getting his third vaccine. Yes, Look at it. He even before. has a blue background. Look at that. Yeah, I was going to get my third screen. vaccination <laughs> today. Maybe, maybe you should I, have a fiery red background. I don't know. Oh, just okay. Think, just I think. might have one. I like your background. Uh, yeah, I I'll give too. him a fiery red. That's the Bay, is that the Bay Bridge? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, the Blue uh, Bridge. Uh, I just, I made it, uh, I, I used, uh, I took it down to like uh, about 8,000 uh, held I I think what would be nice it's red. You got all these shark pictures. Show one where a diver's foot's getting bit off or something. The red blood in the water. If I'm still It's funny, when you move off mic like that, we can barely hear you. He sounds like Larry Elder. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's got red. No, it's purple, but you know. Yeah, that's pretty good. One of my fire. For him that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I shot an MMA match on Saturday. 20, 20 fights. Lots yeah. of them. But I haven't uh, edited it yet. My, my brother in law during Zoom calls, uh, my <laughs> wife's family's Jewish. So, Passover, whatever, we, we do Zoom oh. calls. He'll somehow sneak in 
Robert Goulet <laughs> on his green yeah, screen right. behind us. It's like a photo of Robert Goulet. Uh, yeah, you, you guys know who Robert Jews. Goulet is, I'm sure, right? I agree. Uh, well, you all know the the uh, this Hollywood producer was um, well, he was putting together a, a movie, and uh, he brought in all the money people and. Uh, Said, listen, I've I've got really great news. I've got uh, Streisand to be the lead. And they say you've got Barbara Streisand to be the lead. No, 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 Eunice Streisand. She's off Broadway now, but she's fantastic. You're gonna love her. Really, really. Okay. Uh, who who is who would be the leading man? Oh, uh, I've got Costner. You've got Kevin Costner. Uh, no, Billy Costner. Uh, he he's new. He's up and coming. He's gonna be great. You're gonna love him. And who do you have to direct? Uh, Coppola. You've got Francis Ford Coppola? No, 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 no. Uh, Chuck Coppola, he's, he's really good. You're gonna love him. And who's the nemesis? Um, I've got uh, Bob Goulet. You've got Robert Goulet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably, I, let me punch up the joke for you. <laughs> yeah. I think is the way I've heard it is. Uh, Goulet, uh, yeah. Robert Goulet? Absolutely. Yeah. That's the way you yeah, do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just good. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Bob Let me get over here and get my coffee. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Good Boy. thing you can carry a tune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he carries a good tune, too. Yeah. You're gonna it be sounds doing like a, you got him a little stone before he got on the show, Alex. You're going to be doing a thing on, uh, what, Friday? Friday, I'm doing a little thing with Paul Schaefer. Talk into the mic. We're going. I'm um, going to be with Paul Schaefer. Um, where? At a subway stop somewhere where there's a clock. He came up with a concept. I don't want to spoil it for you because you can go on YouTube if you're Paul Schaefer fans or not. You can pull up Paul Schaefer from the Letterman Band, of course, and uh, on Instagram, and you'll be able to uh, see this little. Uh, snippet that we're about to Is this talk. in New York? This is in New York, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, Paul, Paul's give quite us, a good guy. Would you give us a, a little rendition uh, uh, as long as we got you? No, no, on, no, no, no. I don't want to do that because... Uh, not, that, not that. It's one of your other classics that oh. uh, uh, won't get Blow Alex me a kiss off. before you leave? Should we do that? <laughs> <laughs> Blow me a kiss before you leave. Blow me a kiss goodbye. Cause if you're gonna leave me, honey, I will surely miss the way you blow me, blow me a kiss. Some things in life are hard to swallow. She couldn't handle everything. But if she comes back tomorrow, I'll be shooting my wad on flowers and a ring. Blow me a kiss before you leave me. Blow me a kiss goodbye. And always think about me as you're going down your list. So baby, blow me, blow me a kiss. I'll miss her arms and her elbows. I'll miss her neck so long. I'll miss her neck and her shoulders. But I'll miss her head most of all. There you go. Okay, that's it. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Thank, thank you. Please don't stand. You might hit your head. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was very good, very good. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so anyway, uh, uh, yeah. So you're going to be doing that thing with uh, Paul. Yeah, I'm going to do a thing with Paul. He he's got a gal that videotapes, and she'll edit it, and I'm sure he'll put it up in the next day or two after Friday. You got to do it like one of those things they do in the subways. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Except it's a, <laughs> we're not going to do a whole song. It's just a little snippet, and there's a comedic aspect. To what we're doing, so tune in, won't you please? Okay, all right. You'll you'll see that's, a that's little funny. something. Yeah, actually, last I think the last time you were in New York, or maybe a time before that, you yeah, brought, he, you brought Paul up here. He came up here, and we had I think we had we had a little chat with the Dookie Doo. Yes, he uh, he loves his uh, Dookie Doo. Dookie Doo. <laughs> I bet he's going to be happy that it's going to be legal here in New York. Yeah, I gotta say though, I, I was just in Massachusetts, and. Um, it's baby steps for Massachusetts. They haven't gotten it together the way California. Oh, oh it's going to take forever for us to get. Oh it yeah, I hear three years before you'll be able to, to buy. I'll be dead by then. Oh, come on, no, 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 no. 
Um, yeah, but California, I'm telling you, senior discount, I love that. Uh, we have a place in San Francisco that if you're in that particular zip code, you get a 25% discount just for being in the zip code. Do they have that in Massachusetts? Is that for your girlfriend? Discount. Pardon? No. You get a girlfriend at a 25% discount for the day? No. Uh, marijuana. Yeah. The last time I smoked marijuana was at Alex's house in Sausalito, and somebody had sent him a, a big tin of David's cookies from New York. And you went out to the pool, and you said, yeah, help yourself. No cookies left by the time you got back. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. must yeah. have been good. Yeah. Did you become enlightened? No. <laughs> no. About three hours later. <laughs> that was the last time I smoked pot. What? It sounds you to me pot like you ate cookies. I, oh, you better believe I ate the cookies. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. And then Alex says, Where you, "Where's the cookies?" <laughs> <laughs> and, know? and and to think when you in 1984 when you signed up to work for Richmond PD. Have you ever smoked marijuana? No. They asked me if I ever smoked marijuana. They never asked you? No. Nah, they usually, they don't care. Okay. They figure most cops are going to be doing drugs. Why not? And that wasn't anything that came up. Wow. Uh, so anyway, I'm doing something different. Anybody notice something different with me? Uh, well, I... You got a younger version of you next to you? No, uh, I don't know if, if uh, uh, a good example would be Jeff, if he knows this, and of course uh, Kevin, uh, because they're the two guys with beards here, and, and also you, Alan. Mm. But I have, I have been using a, 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 what do you call it, a Man razor boomer? with a d different depth on it. So now I'm letting my oh. beard grow out. Here. Oh yeah, it looks good. Letting it get a little more shapey, shapely. There you go. You know, so. That's good. At your age, you can do that if you want. At my age, I can do anything I want. Absolutely. Yeah. And everybody go. Oh, it's just an old guy. Don't worry about it. We don't even pay attention to it. When you go out, you ask for the senior discount. You mean is it's known the Phil special? <laughs> the oily bird. It's really been years special. since I asked for this, for the, uh, had, had to even ask for it. Yeah, you know. You only have to ask for it when they don't know that you're old enough to get it. So, but yeah, buddy, love doesn't sound like a Jewish last name. I mean, what's up with that? Oh, I had a girlfriend. I was, uh, I hit 65, and, and I, for the longest time, did not want to admit, or 60, which was for movie theaters, you had to be 60. And uh, I, I just refused to say I was 60 rather than pay, you know, pay lesser money. So I paid full price all the time. Finally, one day I decided I'd finally. That's right out of the Buddy Love playbook. Yeah. Uh, Buddy we're Love gonna says We're going to drum you, you out of the uh, Jewish Radio Caster Society. Well, no, but here, so what happened was I was going out to a movie with somebody and I said, ah, hell with it, you know. I'll finally say I'm a, I'm a, I'm a senior. So I said, uh, give me a senior. And then I looked over at my date, who happened to be... 22. Admitted. No, 40. <laughs> okay. 40, but, she was, but she, went, she was going back to, univer to the university again. Okay? And she said, and one student, please? <laughs> Boy, the, was I the, embarrassed. The old joke is she was... She was 12, but she had the body of a nine-year-old. <laughs> <Right. laughs> and all of a sudden, woo! Oh, yeah, that, woo! Yeah, that's so not woke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. There's, you know what pedophiles say? There's so many jokes that we used to be able to do in the Buddy Love Show that are like, blow me a kiss. I can't do blow me a kiss anymore. Why not? Because women are offended. Yeah, There's no women here, and we're okay with it's it. It's a funny little song. It's, it's all innuendo. It's a play on words, but... Well, you don't want to do it innuendo. Yeah, but we all knew what you were talking about, so yeah. it, it yeah. matters. No, yeah. but it, it, to be fair, I do it with Marky Love. We it, we do it as a duet. Uh, you know, and he, he will sing the first, Blow Me, and I'll, I will uh, you know chime in. Uh, kids, before you leave, and the whole gag is... 
he wrote a song because his his girlfriend broke up with him and and we go through all these girlfriends stormy's the first one second one sunny the third one is partly cloudy clearing in the afternoon <laughs> and, then we, and then we go into the song so uh, the th last girl that she, she was out at the barbecue what was her name oh partly cloudy clearing in the afternoon and then we go into the song blow me and he he makes it very funny as as a, a duet it's, it's i think funnier I, as a duet. i see our numbers yeah, are yeah. through the roof of watchers right now because buddy's on and ten what huh? ten yeah ten people i don't know i didn't even look i was just buddy's on and everybody's listening yeah. uh, buddy how's the air conditioning in your room uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! It couldn't be better. Non-existent. Well, a, a, after I get rid of you guys, uh, yeah. I will do a little work here, then turn off this air conditioner, then that one can go on. Right. Uh, rationing. Yeah. And then I've got to go into the living room to watch television, and in there we have no air conditioning. Well, we do. We have another air conditioner there, but if I really want to blow the fuse. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What do you want? Air conditioning and free rent? <laughs> exactly. Here's here's a line from Slim, I want air conditioning. Here's what? a here's a line from Slim Pickens, yeah. who comes on the Johnny Carson show, and you know they're chatting along, and and Johnny uh, Slim oh no Slim says to Johnny he's the guy who rode the bomb in Doctor Strange. Yeah, he rode the bomb Absolutely. down in Doctor Strange, and he was also a cowboy, a cowboy, uh, you know, movie star. So he, he, had, he had also been yeah, a rodeo well, clown. Real, yeah, rodeo clown. He had a high pitched voice, yeah. and uh, so they're talking, and <laughs> and this is this couldn't be a more true statement. Johnny Carson uh, is looking at him, and he says, "Yeah, you've been really working hard a lot." Uh, and Johnny goes, "Yeah, I've been really working hard. I've been doing this, 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 and this." And 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 Slim looks at him. He goes, "You know, if you're working in air conditioning." You're not working that hard. <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> if you're working in air conditioning, you're not working that hard. Right. It's true. It's you know, be. Think of all the people out digging ditches in this heat and humidity. Uh, we're, you know, Phil, you're out there. It, you're out in uh, Pleasanton or Dublin somewhere out in the East Bay? Walnut Creek. Walnut Creek. Okay, so you get warm. I hear it's warmed up there. Uh, but... I live where I live in San Francisco. It's been 55, 65 degrees yeah, until we left, and now it's warm. And I come, I get off the plane in New York. I walk outside, and it's 87 degrees, yeah. and the humidity is 78. You know, yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. just it was, brutal. It's been brutal here, and and it's taken me about a week and a half just to get used to it. Now I can kind of. Go outside well, there was a little nice rainstorm today, there too a couple of days ago, wasn't there? Well, we're getting rain tonight. Yeah, we're, get, we're getting the, the uh, hurricane. Tailwind, tailwind hurricanes, Ida. Yeah. hurricanes okay. coming in. Yeah. York, they got mosquitoes beside the Volkswagens. Where? Right? In, in New York. York. Mosquitoes the size of Volkswagens? Yeah, there's. Uh, yeah, definitely. During the summer. I never have been bitten by a mosquito in New York City. I don't think they can live here. Go to Harlem, no, but you know. trust me, there are mosquitoes in Cape Cod. I am covered with mosquito bites. Yeah, just horrible. I just came back from Cape Cod. Yeah, it was a nice up there. It was beautiful. Let me just start my theme here. Yeah. I've never had to do this with somebody sitting in here with me. Yeah. But uh, there we go. That's it. That's our theme song. Uh, thank you very much, buddy. It was great being maybe, part of the maybe show you'll come tonight. back again before you go. I would love to. Yeah, yeah give Alex the week off. Well, you come on. Yeah, I got to figure out. I've been I've watched your show from back there, and I've tried about three times to get on. That's simple. It's, for me, it's not. I'm a complete moron. Just use Zoom. Just call the Zoom number, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll, I'll get, tell you all you about it. When fix, fix me up. We, uh, we got to end the show though. Thank you, Phil, for sticking around. I appreciate it. Okay. Phil, you're all right by me. Yeah, I hope you don't mind it when we let you have it, but you deserve <laughs> it. We got to. Uh, thank you, Alan. Thank you, Kevin. Great having you here, as always. Uh, uh, Tony? Yeah. 
Okay. And Jeff, great having you here, too. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and uh, we'll give a big wave goodbye, too. There we go. There we go. That's our, uh, that's our show for tonight. And uh, let me just get rid of these people so that uh, they don't have to sit here waiting. See, up there is where we are. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you very much, buddy. I really uh, appreciate it, and Always hopefully pleasure, we'll we'll see you uh, we'll see us very soon, maybe tomorrow. You might might just never know. You might get stuck uh, with me again. Jack Bishop is next with the intersection, okay, and uh, he will be here, uh, and he'll be on Skype uh, taking your calls at GabNet Live. In the meantime, I'll see you tomorrow night. There's sports at 8.30 with the franchise MC, And then at 10.30, I will be here once again, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. And by the way, wear a mask or get a shot. One or the other, okay? Or maybe both would be nice, too. Wear a mask, get a poke. Yeah. 